The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has released new guidelines for the use of cloth face coverings to help slow the spread of coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. According to the CDC, cloth face coverings should fit snugly but comfortably against the side of the face, be secured with ties or ear loops, include multiple layers of fabric, allow for breathing without restriction, and be able to be laundered and machine dried without damage or change to shape. In this course, we will go over tutorials for sew and non-sew methods for creating face coverings as recommended by the CDC. When in public settings where social distancing is not as easily maintained, it is suggested that you cover your nose and mouth with a cloth. It is possible to spread COVID-19 to others even if you do not feel sick. By the end of this course, you will be able to List the steps for creating a sewn cloth face covering. List the steps for creating a non-sewn cloth face covering. Identify best practices for wearing a cloth face covering. To sew a cloth face covering, you will need two 10 inch by six inch rectangles of cotton fabric, two six inch pieces of elastic or rubber bands, string, cloth strips, or hair ties needle and thread, or a bobby pin, scissors, and a sewing machine. Step 1. Cut out two 10 by 6 inch rectangles of cotton fabric. You should use tightly woven cotton such as fabric from cotton sheets or quilting fabric. You can also use fabric from a cotton t-shirt. Stack the two 10 by 6 inch rectangles. Sew the face mask as if it was a single piece of fabric. Step 2. Fold over the long sides 1 quarter inch and hem. Then, fold the double layer of fabric over one half inch along the short sides and stitch down. Step three, run a six inch length of one eighth inch wide elastic through the wider hem on each side of the face mask. These will be the ear loops. Use a large needle or bobby pin to thread it through. Tie the ends tight. If you don't have elastic, you can use elastic headbands or hair ties. If you only have string, you can make the ties longer and then tie the face mask behind your head. Step 4. Gently pull on the elastic so that the knots are tucked inside the hem. Gather the sides of the mask on the elastic and adjust so the mask fits your face. Then, securely stitch the elastic in place to keep it from slipping. For a non-sewn cloth face covering using a t-shirt, you will need a t-shirt, and scissors. Step 1. You will want to measure 7 to 8 inches from the base of the cotton t-shirt and cut through both sides horizontally. Step 2. Measure 6 to 7 inches from the right side of the rectangle created from the base of the t-shirt. Cut out an inner rectangle, leaving a little bit of fabric at the top and bottom of the rectangle. Cut the ends on the right side to create the strings. Step 3. When you're ready to wear the mask, tie the strings around the back of your neck and then over the top of your head.
For a non-sewn cloth face covering using a bandana, you will need a bandana or square cotton cloth approximately 20 inches by 20 inches, a coffee filter, and rubber bands or hair ties. Step 1. Cut a cone-shaped coffee filter down the middle horizontally. Step 2. Lay the bandana or 20 inch by 20 inch cotton fabric square out flat. Fold the bandana in half. Step 3. Place the top, rounded half of the coffee filter in the middle of the folded bandana. Fold the top of the bandana down to cover the filter and fold the bottom of the bandana up. Step 4. Slide two rubber bands, or hair ties, onto the folded bandana, about six inches apart. Step 5. Fold both sides of the bandana to the middle and tuck. Step 6. When you're ready to wear the face mask, Place the elastics over your ears. The CDC recommends that everyone wear a cloth face cover when they have to go out in public where it is difficult to maintain social distancing. For example, to go to the grocery store or to pick up other necessities. Cloth face coverings should not be placed on young children under age 2, on anyone who has trouble breathing, or is unconscious, incapacitated, or otherwise unable to remove the mask without assistance. The cloth face cover is meant to protect other people in the community in case you are infected with COVID-19. The cloth face cover is not a substitute for social distancing, so you should continue to keep about six feet between yourself and others. The coronavirus should be taken seriously. By following the recommendations and guidelines provided by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention on the use of cloth face coverings, you are taking actions to keep you and your family safe.